What's going on YouTube? So this is actually going to be a second upload for the day. The first one has already went live. It is the um, update letting you know what is going on with the servers because of this update. Um, the server update has actually been put on the test servers already. It's been about two weeks and then now it's going live. As you can see, my internet is dropping due to the uh, uploading of the other video, but uh, here we go with what is going on in this one. So for the pistols, uh, they're increasing the P92, P1911, the P18C, R1895, and the R45. All of their damage has went up. Shotguns increase overall damage and effective range. Shotgun, shotgun chokes and duck bills are now less effective at decreasing spread, so the effective spread for a shotgun with a choker duck bill will be similar to before. Increased limb shots modifier. Uh, shooting limbs now does more damage. Slightly decrease the damage of the S686 and S1897. Uh, and reduce pellet spread. Shotgun chokes can now be attached to the sawed off. Really happy about that, actually. Uh, SMGs. Adjusted SMGs to be more effective in short range combat. Increased limb shot modifier. Slightly increase the damage of the micro Uzi, UMP, and vector. Decrease the vertical recoil on all SMGs. Decrease the recoil and scope sway when moving in ADS. Increase ADS transition speed. To make the vector a little easier to find, we've increased the spawn rate at the expense of the spawn rate of the UMP9. Uh, that kind of sucks. I hate the vector and love the UMP9, so that's a little garbage. ARs. Rebalance ARs, so none is the objective best. The power differential between each is now reduced, but each brings advantages to different situations. Slightly decrease the damage of the M16A4, scar L, AUG, and M416. Increase reload, reload time by 30% for the Scarl M16 and M416. Increase reload time by 10% for the AKM. Increase vertical and horizontal recoil for all ARs except AKM. Decrease recoil rate, recovery rate for all ARs. Restrict big scopes 8 times and 15 times for use with all ARs. Modified recoil animations for all ARs and first shot, including the first shot after recoil reset, when the M16 has less recoil. DMRs increase head, body, and limb shot modifier, decrease the damage of the SKS, slightly increase the damage of the VSS and Mini 14, increase vertical and horizontal recoil for all DMRs, decrease the recoil rate over all DMRs, added new recoil animations, increase whirl spawn rate. DMRs now use AR attachments, magazines, compensators, etc., along with SR attachments. Sniper, rif ugh. Sniper rifles decrease basic damage at M24 from 88 to 79. M24 will no longer drop in care package. It spawns in the world. That's actually pretty cool there. Both sniper rifle quick draw magazines and extended quick draw magazines now spawn only in care packages. Slightly so increase the damage of the DP28 and M249. Restricted big scopes 8 and 15 for use with LMGs. Reduced crossbow reloading from 4 seconds to 3.5. Nobody you picks that up anyways. Weapon sway has been adjusted for all weapons, slightly increased side to side movement, and sway is more pronounced with holding your breath. Weapon sway when moving is now also reduced to cheek pad attachment. Cheek pads now help you recover from weapon sway more quickly after moving. Other item balance level 3 helmets now only spawn in care package, and one is guaranteed to be in every care package. We reduced the spawn rate for AR extended quick draw magazines. Adrenaline syringes now spawn alongside normal loot in the, same, in the game world, but very rarely. Adjusted the casting time of adrenaline syringe from 8 seconds to 6. The tactical stock and cheek pad are now less effective, but improving recoil recovery rate now improves ADS. And on Erangel, Erangel, I don't know how you say that, all windows with bar have the glass removed. Added 26 graffiti images to building in Erangel, Myanmar. Added advertisement banners for PGI, public PUBG Global Invitational, to buildings and billboards. The winning player team will now be given approximately 8 seconds to celebrate their victory for the match ends. That's kind of funny. To improve visibility, the blue zone in the map areas under the blue zone are now colored blue. To improve visibility of the blue zone in map. Hmm, okay. Added the SLR to the game, uh, which uses 7.62 and contains 10 bullets per magazine. 20 bullets when extended. The SLR is more powerful than the SKS but has more recoil. Duck bill, a new attachment of shotguns is decreased vertical pellet spread but increased horizontal and bullet spread. Light grip is decreased first shot single shot recoil by 15%. Attachable to ARs, SMGs, DMRs. Thumb grip is reduced vertical recoil but increases horizontal recoil. 
Uh, attachable to ARs, SMGs, DMRs. Half grip. Reduces vertical and horizontal recoil and also reduces recoil every time. Again, to the AR, SMGs, and DMRs. Scope. Three times scope and a six times scope. Is a scoreable rare roll drop item. Uh, performance. The model rendering has been optimized. Character movement. Uh, network latency has been improved. Character data calculated rated. I don't know what that one is. Bike animation has been optimized. Asset building, loading of MyMR has been optimized. Smoke effects have been opti optimized. Parachuting animation has been optimized. And level streaming has been optimized. Boats now sink when destroyed. We've made some adjustments to the way swimming is reduced effectiveness of hiding underwater. We've decreased the maximum submersible time from 35 to 15. That's pretty good. Once you run out of air, you'll now take 10 damage per second up from 4 damage. Up from four. Okay. We've increased the delay for breath recovery time from 1 to 4 seconds. In other words, when you lift your head above the water, it'll take 4 seconds to begin your recovery breath. These are all good changes that needed to be coming. Um, sorry, I just read something. I thought that was saying that the moon nap was in this, but it's not. At least that I can see. Um, so they've also added in a new car to the uh, second map. Um, and some other things that they've had out. Really, a lot of people are just waiting for the new map to come out. Because we really want the new map. Just saying. So, pretty much, that was the complete patch notes. I actually read those. Uh, this is a bigger update than usual. Normally, they're around 3 to 4 gigs. This one is 11 gigs. So, again, I was just getting up to play some video games, seeing that this was updating, and figured I'd do a quick video for you here. So, let me know if you like these update videos. A lot of people do. I know people won't gameplay with them, but the easiest way to get this video out quick is to as soon as I see the update start happening just go ahead and drop the video on it that way you guys will know to update it maybe before you go to work in the morning like I'm about to do or anything like that that way uh, when you come home tonight you'll be able to play and won't be having to wait on it to download because this again is 11.35 gigs so anyways thanks for watching